Before we start learning anything about libgdx, I'm going to show you a little tool that we will create through this section. This tool is Java desktop application and it has libgdx application embedded inside. So we will learn how to embed libgdx application into Java desktop application. That way, for example, later you can create level editors and all different tools that you need for your games. On the left side, you can see there is a list of experiments or what I call sample. So list of samples. We have a little button that can launch selected sample. And there is empty region. That region represents where libgdx application will run. So for example, when we start learning, let's say about viewports, if I double click on viewport sample, that sample or that libgdx application is running now. So when we will learn about viewports, we will create that sample. This tool will make our life a lot easier because all samples or experiments are inside. So we can run all our experiments from one place. We don't need to create 20, 30 libgdx projects just to test something. Everything will be in one place. When we learn about viewports, we will see how viewports work. There are other samples that we will create. Whenever we learn something new, we will create new experiment or sample. After that, when we have knowledge, we are going to apply that knowledge to our application. For example, there are other samples, let's say shape renderer sample. Now you noticed how the application changed. So now viewport sample is shut down and our shape renderer sample, which is libgdx application, is running. Like I said, this tool will make our life a lot easier. We won't waste time on creating tons of projects just to test something. Later on, when you start writing your own games, you will be able to come back to this project and just write simple tests and see how something works. The main idea is that all samples or experiments are in one application and they are easy to run. We don't need to create many, many projects.